Hello YouTube, welcome to my short video on how to install a mud flap or a mud guard extender to my Zontes Monster. Um, the mud guard was purchased via eBay from um, a user called Up the Shop. Um, it cost about a fiver, including delivery, quite fast delivery. It includes a basic, fairly rigid plastic stroke rubber um, mud flap, a bracket to go on the rear of uh, the existing mud guard, and screws and some bolts. Um, for this uh, job, I will need a drill, some drill bits, some mask and tape, and a tape measure. Which oh, here we are, and a tape measure. Um, the purpose of the mud flap is to prevent all the mud splattering all over the engine casing, as is currently the case. Um, it won't prevent it completely obviously but it will prevent a build up over time and um, particularly under I'm not somebody who wants to be cleaning in the crevices every tiny little piece on the mo on the engine okay let's begin first of all um, put a strip of masking tape uh, level across the back of the mud guard uh, this will ensure that when drilling the two holes um, that the drill bit won't will help the drill bit not to slip and potentially um, scratch or worse um, on the rest of the mud guard. Okay, um, take the bracket supplied with your kit, place it above the mask and tape. It's quite flexible, and make a pencil mark in each of the holes. Once you've checked it's level and straight, um, these will be your drill holes and your drill marks. Once you have your holes marked out, take your drill with a small drill bit, small sharp drill bit, place over and start drilling very slowly. Particularly as you don't want your sharp drill bit to go straight through and then into your tie. I'm doing this extra gentle, probably a little bit less than I would normally, simply because I'm doing it one handed. Not something I recommend. I will come back once these are booked and I will <laughs> I will do this two handed so it doesn't go all the way through and um, report back once I've completed both holes. Um, the holes are now drilled through. I started with a 3mm drill bit um, and I'm now going up to a 5mm drill bit. After drilling my large enough hole, ensure it's big enough to fit the screw through or the bolt through. And it is. Remove it and remove the masking tape. <coughs> Clear off any of the edges, although they will be covered by the bolt head. Then, again, I won't be able to do this at one handed. Take the mud guard. This, the metal holder behind it, slide them up to behind the mudguard, the existing one, and line up the holes and put a bolt through and a screw through. I'll have a look at the finished product in a moment. I think I'm tired of both nuts and bolts. You just go to see them there. Come out of stress and uh, how irritating and fiddly the job is um, with the mud guard installed. If your mud guard easily comes off, it may well be worth removing it. I'm going to take a screwdriver and tighten it.
tighten. Not over tight, we don't want to crack the plastic. There we are. And job done. One extended mud guard, which should now fully protect or protect the engine block from splayed mud up from the front wheel. And the whole total job will take me about 10 minutes, but it's probably taking 5 minutes for that if I wasn't videoing it. Okay, till next time.